Hello guys, how are you today? My name is David Franco, and welcome to today's video, which is all about building a beautiful WordPress website powered by Elementor, which just happens to be right here. And as you can clearly see, it's the world's leading WordPress page builder. Now, first of all, I got to get this out of the way. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I just discovered Elementor, what, maybe two, three months ago? It has been blowing my mind left and right, and as you can see right here, join over one million professionals who build better sites with Elementor. And of course, as you can probably tell right here by this video, it's a WYSIWYG editor. In other words, what you see is what you get. You can quite literally drag and drop elements after elements after elements, and it really is that exciting. Okay, so for now, let's just close that tab. Let's go to defrankymedia.com, and this website I just launched last week and yep, you guessed it, it's completely powered by WordPress and Elementor, as well as my favorite new web host, hostpapa.com, but I'll talk about them in a few moments. Anyway, here is the frankymedia.com, a website completely focused around my creative services, such as graphic design, web design, and of course, all the content that I offer for free, such as my resources right here, which includes YouTube tips, email marketing, photography tips, and the list goes on and on, and clicking pricing will actually show you an excellent demonstration of pricing tables. Once again, yes, powered by Elementor. But anyway, enough about thefrankymedia.com. Let's go to my thefrankymedia.com dashboard and show you how Elementor works. Now, once Elementor is installed, which by the way, I will be including a walkthrough link in the um, video description right below, so click that, install it, and I promise, installing Elementor is completely free. And if for whatever reason you need my help, reach out to me and I'll do my best to help you. So um, anyway, fast forwarding, assuming you have Elementor installed, this is the best way to get started. Log into your WordPress dashboard, click Pages, click Add New, as you normally would in WordPress. And for this video's purpose, we're just going to call this David's First Page. Now, instead of clicking the Publish button on the right, click this button instead, Edits with Elementor. It takes a few minutes to render everything, and as you can see, we're still in the WordPress interface, but instead, it's overlaid by Elementor which is incredible. Okay, so this left sidebar is where you'll likely be spending most of your time with an Elementor because this is honestly where most of the work is being done. It's a drag and drop interface. You can drag and drop any of these elements onto your page and the elements actually show up in real time. For instance, we could drop a heading, call this David's heading. You can change the attributes using the same sidebar. Change it from H2 to H1. Go back to the uh, grid view by clicking this little grid icon up here. We could drag a divider and you can increase the gap that way. Or for you alignment freaks like myself, you can even adjust the margin in real time. Check that out. Very, very cool stuff, but let's delete that. We don't need that and let's delete that since our page title is already on this page. But yes, focusing your attention once again on the sidebar, you can add a variety of elements from headings to images to videos to Google Maps, posts for your blog, a login form, a regular form, navigation menu, animated headlines, a media carousel, call to action buttons, countdowns, share buttons, Facebook buttons, Facebook comments, Facebook embeds, Facebook pages, the list goes on and on, and hopefully you can quickly realize why I've been loving Elementor so much. But of course, with that said, if you do not want to do all this by yourself, simply click, first of all, let's delete these, simply click this folder icon, and this is where even more fun begins. You can insert predefined blocks of content, such as this one, there you go. You can also add entire page templates within a page. This is incredible. This is really, really powerful stuff. So for example purposes, let's just click one of the non-pro ones, 
which by the way, Elementor is free, but if you do want to use any of the pro templates, then you'll have to pay a small fee. I think it's like $49 a year, which if you ask me is more than worth it. So let's just for this video's purpose, let's click this one, insert, and it'll take a few minutes for it to render. And there you go. Now, as you can see, it inserted the page under the previous content block, so we'll just want to delete this first one. And the page is there. Okay, so great, the page has been created, but what if you want to edit the content yourself? Not a problem. You simply click in, and you edit it. There, it's really that simple. And just like I showed you previously, everything is done in the left sidebar. It could not be more simpler. However, you may have noticed something. This sidebar is technically interfering with the content. So let's save our changes. You're gonna to wanna to click this icon in the top left and then click exit the dashboard. And then over here in the right sidebar where it says template, click default template and choose elements are full width. Update. And now we're gonna go back into our page And as you can see, the content has been pushed to the left and right. So let's go full screen and check it out. You now have a beautiful page template within your WordPress website. And of course, if you want to delete anything, you can. Or you just move them around by drag and drop. All right, so scrolling back up to the top, let's save our changes by clicking update. Let's go to dashboard and let's create a new page just to keep this flow going. We'll call this one another test page. Edits with Elementor. Now this time we're gonna leave this sidebar here. Not a big deal. But I do wanna show you something very, very interesting that can save you literally hours of time. All right, so for fun, let's just add, let me see here, a countdown. Now you typically don't want more than one countdown, but for example purposes, what if you wanted to duplicate something across your website without updating it every time per page? Well, you can do that. All right, so let's change some elements just so it looks different. There you go, in line. So that way we only see the minutes and seconds. Now check this out, right click, save as a global. We'll just call this Simple Countdown. Click Save. Now check this out. If we go to another page, first of all, let's save our changes. If we go to another page, for example, our first page that we worked on, let's click on Pages, David's first page, Edits with Elementor. Let's just scroll down here. Now click global in the left sidebar. What do you see there? Simple countdown. That is a global element that we saved that we can simply drag in. Let's just put it right here. And what do you know? We only see the minutes and seconds because we saved it as a global element. Now for whatever reason you wanted to unlink this, you simply click unlink unlink the widgets, and you can change this widget per its own attributes without affecting the first countdown that we previously created. Now that alone is a whole other video, but I just wanted to point that out to give you an example of how truly powerful Elementor is. So guys, I think that's all I'm gonna show you for today because honestly, the best way to learn Elementor is to just play around with it yourself, which of course is going to require a web host, and I think you should check out HostPapa that's who powers the frankymedia.com. I think you'll like them. Pricing is low. Pricing is affordable. They have a variety of plans to check out. And perhaps most important of all, their customer service is quick and excellent. So check them out. I will include a link to host Papa right below in the video description. So guys, there you go. There are my thoughts on Elementor. It has been an incredible website. I have been loving every minute of it. It truly is a very, very powerful WYSIWYG editor. So check it out. I think you'll be very happy with it. And of course, I'm going to say it again. Elementor is free to download. Get started today. 
And if you have any questions, let me know right below and I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.